Hello, Zach Triple Seven. In today's video, I have something a bit different for you guys today. Today, I'm doing an overview of an icon pack. Now, normally when I include a Windows 7 theme, I don't include icons. The reason being is they take forever to install and forever to restore. And to be honest, it's just not worth it. But today, I'll be showing you guys a cool and nifty way to install many icons at the same time in a matter of about two minutes. Now, today's icon pack I'll be showing off is Flatty. It's a cool icon pack. It looks like something you'd buy off like a, the Play Store on, on Android. Um, but it's, like I said, it's pretty cool. And you can install all the icons in a matter of a couple minutes. Now, if you guys like the idea of icon pack overviews, definitely let me know in the, description, or in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to do more. Now, this icon pack will work fine with any theme. I'll be applying it to the, just the normal Windows 7 layout today. Um, but if you already have a custom theme installed, feel free to do the icon pack over that and it'll blend right into your theme. Now, obviously for some themes, this, this icon pack won't go and then for some, it'll go really well. So if you have a nice theme and you apply the icon pack and it looks nice, definitely screenshot it and send it my way over Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Anyway though, today we'll get started with applying this icon pack. Like I said though, even if you don't have a theme, you can apply this icon pack just to standard windows, which I'll be doing in this video. So what you want to do is click the download for this fly icon pack, um, the Windows 7 one, what you want to do is attach the, click the bottom one right here, and it'll start to download for you. Then what you want to do is head over to this other like website, which I'll have in the description below as well. It's uh, 7TSP, which is a 7 theme source patcher. It's a program that'll simply allow you to patch, or sorry, install packs. Now this icon pack is a pack for the program, so the program will install all the icons for you within two minutes. You have the option of doing a portable or installer version. Um, obviously the installed version installs itself and creates a shortcut on desktop. Portable version is simply just one file. So download either or, doesn't really matter. Now once you download both those files, um, go to your download section and open up the 7TSP program. Now if you have user account control enabled, you will need to give it yes. Um, so if you aren't the admin, you will have to know the admin's password. Now, the first time you open it up, it's going to ask you to uh, accept license and terms. It's simply a notepad file. Click yes twice, and then it'll open up the program like you see here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to need to import this file right here. So simply click add custom pack. Then click the flatty icons or click your download section. Then click flatty icons. Hit open. Give it a sec to select the icons. And once it's good, you're good to go. Now you also see you have the option here, menu start orb is enabled, which means it will apply this start orb. Now you can leave that enabled and it will apply the start orb, or you can uncheck it and that will not install the icon, or it's not install the start orb. So it's up to you if you want to start orb or not. I will check it off because I want to start orb. Now, once you uh, check to start or not and have 7TSP flatty icons loaded into the selected pack, click start patching. It will ask you if you want to create a system restore point. I highly suggest saying yes, because what that will do is create a system restore point. And so if the power goes out or whatever it may be, you can actually restore back to that point uh, before it even happened to restore everything and you won't lose any files. So it will go through and patch all the files it needs to and install the icons for you. All right, so once we're done here, you guys can see uh, mine took 196 seconds, which I would say is about average. Um, this is on a virtual machine, so it's gonna, for me, it's a bit slower, or actually it's much, much slower than my normal uh, speed would be because it is on the secondary hard drive of my computer. But for you guys, it may take around that time, a little faster, a little slower, Whatever it may be, but don't rush it. Make sure you let it finish and it won't take more than five minutes for sure. And you notice some of the icons have already been patched, but for the full effect to take um, effect, what you want to do is reboot. So look yes to reboot and the computer will reboot. Now, once the computer has rebooted, you will notice everything should be, back to, should be applied. You will also notice on the shutting down symbol there, we had a cool little animation. 
Now it does suggest to boot, reboot one more time. So go ahead and do that. All right, so we're back here with our applied icons. Now, sometimes you may have to delete the thumb cache for the icons to complete um, full effect. So we'll have a link in the description below in doing that. All right, and then we're good to go. So now I'll show you guys some of the icons that have been applied. So as you can see, definitely the new um, arrow that points to your, to your icons in the shortcut. Also new recycle bin, new folder icons, the new start orb if you chose to apply it. None of the programs do get skinned, but if you go to the start menu here, or sorry, the explorer menu, it's not a theme, so it doesn't apply um, to the, the frame, but you see the icons have changed, folder icons here, documents, music, pictures, and videos. So it's a cool little icon pack. It doesn't change too, too much, but it is something nice, especially if you wanted to go with the, the normal Windows 7 theme and apply something small like this. It's a good little add-on. Anyways, guys, though, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, if you're interested in uninstalling this, all you gotta do is simply open up the 7TSP program again, hit yes, wait for it to open up here, and then what you want to do is hit restore and the first option, which is restore modified system files before 7TSP was used. So it will restore all the modified files you modified to before you even install the program. Also guys, that's what it for this video. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you like these kind of videos, definitely leave a comment in the sec section below talking about that. And besides that, screenshot anything that looks cool and send it my way. And thanks for watching. This is Dacker 007, and I'm signing off.